Yeah. And then therefore, I mean, uh, he, he Sunday did, Red. Sunday Red. Yes. That's a kind of a catchy name. <laughs> okay. Turning to your forecast, and looks like we're going to see a little bit more sun finally tomorrow, and not as much humidity. Yeah, and, and not bad either, because that's what you want after a good soaking rain. A lot of folks managed to pick up at least a decent amount of rain over the past two days. Some have seen a little bit more than others, but most of us have at least seen some rain out of the past two days. And you know what? Your lawns are going to start greening up just like that because we're going to throw some sunshine and comfortable weather on top of that as we head into our Thursday. In fact, the, all the rain that came through here earlier now is to our east and you can see as we look west, we are drying things out and it should be again a delightful Thursday for us here in the tri state. So enjoy. Let's talk about the weather pattern as we look ahead. There's a couple of things I want to address. One, I don't see any significant stretches and by that I mean a week of 90s coming our way at least for the next week or so. We'll have a 90 degree day here or there and I've referred to them as kind of burst of heat versus a prolonged stretch of really hot conditions because the core of the summer heat dome, so to speak, is shifting its way out into the center part of the country. That's where the permanent heat will go. Occasionally, we'll get little spikes of heat here into the Ohio Valley, but more importantly, this will leave us on the eastern edge of this and basically leave us susceptible to clusters of showers and storms periodically every few days and this will also allow fronts to sneak through here every few days like we're seeing right now. So when it's not hot, when it's not storming, it actually is going to be pretty nice for us here in the tri-state. So the overall weather pattern going into early July brings us a burst of heat with increased rain chances. So right now, while we do have some abnormally dry conditions, I don't really think we're slipping into a drought per se because these clusters of showers and storms when they come through will offer some decent rains and unfortunately maybe even some severe weather from time to time too. So over the next couple of days in the short term, fantastic sunshine tomorrow. But then as we get into the start of the weekend on Saturday, more heat will spike into the Ohio Valley and that will likely fuel the threat for another round of storms in here. So more beneficial rain again. Here's a look at future casts. One thing I'll point out first thing tomorrow morning and you'll see it here on Skycam. We're already starting to see low clouds and fog develop across the area. That could be an issue first thing in the morning. Otherwise, you've got a beautiful Thursday and these high clouds spilling in on Friday basically are reflective of the building heat. In fact, remember I mentioned the low cloud ceilings. You can kind of see the tiara here starting to get obscured. So I do think visibility could be a problem in the morning. Right now, it's not terrible. It is down to two miles at the airport officially. Not so bad everywhere else, but I suspect as the night continues to cool off, look at the air temperature and you look at the dew point, look at the humidity and relatively light winds. I think we're going to see increased uh, visibility issues towards morning. And in terms of rainfall, you can see it really was the haves and have nots out there. It didn't rain evenly for everyone, but we at least got a little bit. We'll dip down into the mid 60s by first thing tomorrow morning. So we're clearing out, but the concern is for either low clouds and or fog in the morning. So you'll want to tune in with Randy. You may have some visibility reductions. Feels great once any of the fog burns off. It will be a beautiful day for late June. Again, temperatures only in the low 80s, and for a change, we're actually at or below normal for this time of the year. It'll be like the first time in almost two weeks for us. So we heat back up on Friday. I still think it's not too bad, but you'll notice it. And then Saturday is really steamy with a threat for storms. We'll probably have some strong storms in there too Saturday afternoon and evening, and then we'll get into another stretch or at least a two or three day stretch of very comfortable summer weather again Sunday into early next week. All right, Kevin, it is the news FC Cincinnati.